Eric Matan, you're responsible for organizing the NYSE's first event celebrating Pride. So tell me, what prompted you to organize it? And what does this event mean to the NYSE and the community? So Judy, the event Freedom, celebrating LGBTQ plus Pride at the NYSE, really began when I was thinking, you know, we had a great event in February for the African American History Month. Um, and so many of the CEOs and uh, attendees of that event came back to me afterwards and said, that was amazing, that was fantastic. In fact, one attendee said it was magical. So I said, the, the NYC is a home for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Why not do something similar for Pride Month, for the LGBTQ plus community? And really, that's where it all began. We put our heads together, we called our people, we called our friends, and said to each other, what can we do? How can we organize this? What was fantastic was the generosity that people had with their time, with their resources, with their community and their network. Um, the number of people that said, you have to participate in this. You have to donate some swag. You have to donate your time. And that's really what surprised me the most and actually made me so happy and so proud mm -hmm. to be hosting this event at the NYSC. Now, Matan, what does hosting this event mean to you personally? Um, for me, I'm, first of all, I'm very proud that the New York Stock Exchange is taking this uh, step to recognize the LGBTQ business community. And for me, as someone who joined last year, this is, this is for me a great place to work that just recognizes the diversity of everyone who's part of the team. And we need to be a reflection of society that we serve and our, the business community that we cover as, as the ultimate uh, client base for the exchange. And today, LGBTQ executives are everywhere. And so for me, the ability to be true to who I am, to work for an organization that respects that, to help us get closer to our client base and make the connection in a better way, that's what it means to me personally. Mm -hmm. Now, Eric, the event emphasizes the importance of freedom for the LGBTQ plus business community. Why is this a key focus and how does it impact the business environment? Well, I mean, Judy, when, when I think of freedom in the business community, um, for me personally, it's about bringing who I am, um, my authentic self to work, unapologetically every day. And I think businesses and companies that prioritize diversity, equity, and inclusion have a financial advantage over their competitors. Um, they see performance that is better. The employees that can be themselves and feel included at work um, oftentimes are more likely to perform better are less likely to leave, and I think are more likely to also bring interesting ideas that add to the creativity, to the innovation of a business when they feel like they're part of that journey of the company's growth, of the company's success. So really that's what I think um, diversity, equity, inclusion, and really freedom is all about in the, bus in the business community and something that the NYSE espouses in all of its listed community. Okay. Matan, we know that the LGBTQ plus founders often struggle to get funding and credit. What do we think are the main barriers that they face and what changes would you like to see to help overcome these challenges? Yeah, the LGBT business community, like a lot of other minorities, uh, suffer sometimes from under-indexing when it comes to access to capital and investments. And we see that across other minority groups in the US. And I think our role as a public market is to bring together a lot of these founders and the providers of capital, venture capital, private equity, family office, under one roof at this event, and we hope years to come, to create that opportunity to highlight these innovators, these entrepreneurs, and create a better access for capital to them. And so I think we play a very important role when it comes to getting into that unmet need that these founders have to access capital that we see otherwise is difficult for them and bring them to light, bring them under this headlight that we put on them and they're able to then get access to the capital they need. Eric, what does pride mean to you? Pride means a lot of things, um, but mostly it means being able to say, yes, queen, <laughs> um, in a public forum like this. <laughs> Matan, what does pride mean to you? Pride to me is realizing that you are who you are and be your authentic self and be out there and bring yourself every day to work to the public realm as you are with anything that that includes and not be shy about it and understand that that authenticity in this day and age is what people crave and want and that's part of success in life. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you both for organizing this amazing event here at the New York Stock Exchange today, celebrating Pride. And thanks All for joining right. me on Floor Talk. Thank you, thank JD. Thank you for your support, JD.